Hello year one. I thought we could have some fun for Friday afternoon. So seems as we're doing all about animals this term, I thought we could make some animal puppets. I'm going to show you how to make a shark puppet with a surprise mouth. But if you like this idea, you can use this with any animal, so you can really use your imagination. I've put some extra links to other animals that you could do, or you can make up your own idea. So this is my shark puppet, and look what happens. We can open its mouth and... <gasps> Look what's inside. It's got loads of fish inside his mouth. How cool is that? You put your hands on the back as well, like this. And give it an extra fold down so it actually opens and closes like this as well. Okay. Right, carry on watching to learn how to make this. If you'd like to make something different, choose one of the links on the page below. All you need is a piece of A4 paper, a pen or a pencil and some something to colour in with like some crayons or some felt tips. Hello year one, we're going to finish our week by having a little bit of fun. I'm going to show you how to make um, a shark surprise fold up puppet um, with a piece of paper. Now once you've learned how to do this basic puppet you can it will actually work with lots of different sorts of animals so I've also put links to other, oh, we're going to do a shark but I've put links to other animals um tutorials on youtube so um but let i'll show you how to do this one and you can do it alongside with me so you need a piece of a4 paper i'm using a black felt tip pen but you can use a pencil that's fine um and then you're just going to need some crayons or felt tips to color it in so there's a bit of folding to start off with and you might need a bit of help with this so we're going to fold it in half so we're going to bring the bottom um edge of the paper up to the top like this. You need to be as neat as you can to align the corners and we're going to press down. Okay and then you're going to bring just the top bit up and fold it in half again like that. And turn it over and do the same on that side. Okay I'm going quite quickly so you can pause the video at any point to catch up. Okay, then we're going to unfold it a little bit now so it looks like this. Okay. Okay, so like that and press it down nice and hard. Okay. Right, I'm going to do a shark, okay. So the first thing I'm going to draw is like a sad face, smile like this. Okay. You do that now as well. Then I'm going to draw a happy face. Make sure the edges meet up. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just like a slightly curved line from this bit here to this bit here. So on the fold, see where the fold is? So like that. Slightly curved. Okay. Now we are going to do the fins and the tail. So I'm going to just do like a little curve this side and a curve that side. Okay, and a triangle for the tail of the back. Okay, and then I'm going to put some eyes in. So do a circle. Okay, and then another circle like this in the top corner. And then I'm going to colour in all of it apart from the white circle this will act like a bit of a, a highlight there we go there's one let's do my other eye put a little circle in the top and then color it in okay right and then two little dots here one two. Okay, right, that's the outside of your shark drawn. Now we're going to open it. Okay, so we need to join up this point here to this point here. Don't worry if your line is a little bit wobbly, it's not going to matter. And the top to the bottom here as well. Okay, now we need to draw a mouth. Now be careful because we want to make sure it's underneath this fold, okay? So I'm going to do 
a line going across and mine comes down a little bit like that a bit of a curve and we're going to come down but watch out when you come down because you've got another fold here and you don't want to go over that fold so you might just need a little bit of help with this from someone in class or your parents to make sure you don't go over those fold lines okay now we need some nice sharp teeth because it's a scary shark so do some spiky triangles at the top and some spiky triangles at the bottom right what do you think a shark might eat some fish so let's draw some little fish in here so an easy way to do this is you just do a sort of almost like a balloon shape like that and then you do a little triangle there we are okay do a little eye i might do a sad face <laughs> Let's give him a little fin here and a fin here. There we go. If you want to, you can give him some stripes or something. Okay, let's do another one. I'm going to give this one a, a wavy fin and a wavy fin on that side. Sad face here. This one's going to be a spotty one. Okay, should we do another one? One more, a bit bigger. There we go, sad face. Let's go for that kind of shape. Okay, right, I might also do a couple of fish here. Look like they're either swimming towards the mouth or perhaps escaping it. And uh, maybe do one we're trying to run away from the mouth, swim away from the mouth. Do some bubbles. Let's give them a fin. Okay, should we do one on this side as well? Let's have it going towards the mouth accidentally. There we go. And let's put some bubbles on this one as well. Okay, right. I'm happy with that. Then all the next thing you need to do is colour it in. And then you can play with it. I coloured mine in now. I couldn't find a grey, so I literally just used my pencil to colour that, uh, colour the outside of the shark in, the skin, red for the mouth, and then the um, fish can be any colour you like. Right, should we fold it up now? So if you fold the top down like that, you've just got your shark, and then you can go, hello. Oh, look what's inside my mouth. Okay, isn't that great? Okay, something else you can do though is you can fold this bit back. Okay, now put your hands inside this bit. It's kind of hard for me to show you from this angle. So put your hands here, like that. Okay, turn it round and then you can do this. Okay, you can, uh, maybe you could chase somebody around the garden with it and you can be the shark. <laughs> okay, I think this would work really, really well with a tiger or a lion. How about a crocodile? That would be great, wouldn't it? Okay, can't wait to see what you come up with. You can do a shark like me. You can follow one of the links on the page and do a different animal tutorial, or you can use your imagination and make up your own. Good luck.